Hi, Cappies. So, yeah, I had to take off Monday. I was uh, having extreme energy deflation. I was experiencing, like, some melancholy. The full moon took a toll on me. And my friend, who is a Gemini, she came to get me. And she was like, let's go outside. And so we did. And I had the time of my life. And I needed that because I was in here crying. I was just distraught. And that's not even my energy. I'm usually really upbeat or nonchalant. But yesterday it was like, you feel like crying? Just cry. Like it was <laughs> just, I don't know. But thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that these readings are general and may or may not resonate. Take what does, leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus for more insight. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. So, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse here. So, someone can be um, withholding love or not feeling like there's any love left in this situation. Could be you here with this King of Pentacles or a, a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Or someone who has their own business or is very established. Yeah, but I feel like this person, someone's going to be coming in to talk. To you or you're going to be coming in to talk to them with the knight of coins so, so yeah this person is coming in because they love you they see you as their person but they're juggling with this idea to even communicate with you they do want a stable house or a relationship with you i see they want something stable with you they're stuck they're stuck in their head about the situation. Okay, why is the Queen of Cups in reverse here? Because someone is in and out. Player energy. This person, it could be like all over the place. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like something is going to be turning in your favor. They're going to come back and offer you equal give and take. Okay, so after playing around, this person wants to come back and offer you something. But you're guarded. You're bruised. You're beaten up. You've had enough of this situation. Yeah, with the judgment here to the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're um, <laughs> you're you want to give them. Yeah, you want to offer them stability again, but you feel like it's over. But is it? No, you guys are gonna reconcile. I feel like it. I spirit. It says you're going to be right back where you were with this Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you're the one that, oh, you're going to be right back where you were. Heartbroken. With the sign card, I feel like, yeah, it could be a Leo you're dealing with. But I feel like this person makes you really happy and then they break your heart because they're petty. Or they just try to, they try to do shit that just makes everything worse okay with the uh four of swords the six of swords i feel like this is you trying to like level out the situation i'm um, trying to make a decision to take control but it's too much fighting you guys entirely too much fighting going on here you guys can't seem to meet eye to eye yeah and you're like is this shit ever going to be anything more than what it is the answer is no you guys are it's too much confusion here when you come in and speak to each other there's always some fucking like a big argument or something like it's just fucked up and then the magician here with the five of cups is like I, every time you try to come back and fix the situation you always wind up sad yeah with the six of cups but you see this person is a soulmate but your intuition is telling you your intuition is telling you what to hold back your feelings because this person is not coming to a decision for you. This person is not willing to work on this as good as you are. This person is not putting in that energy. But with the Ace of Wands, I feel like this person likes to have sex with you. This person comes back to give sex. That's that Knight of Wands. Yeah, Six of Wands. This person can be an attention whore or that's what they go off for. They go off of sex. Yeah. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, though, I feel like shit is going to turn in your favor either way. Yeah, there goes the judgment again. This is for them now. This person. This person has the nerve to have deep emotions for you. And then we got the Queen and the King here. So that's, this is a pair. 
that thinks logically. But I have the, the three of swords with the king of cups again. It breaks your heart because they hold back so much. They hold back. They don't tell you how they really feel. Yeah, they're just like junk. We have the, the two uh, uh, coins here twice with the lovers here twice. This person does not know what to do with this relationship. Uh-huh, king of coins. They might be broke too. Or this could be you struggling financially right now. Yeah, but you're waiting on something to come in. What exactly is it? The world, the ending. Okay, you're, you're waiting for shit to get better for yourself. You're like, if this is not going to work for me, then yeah, page of Mars, I'll, I'll start somewhere else. So you're looking to start somewhere else, or at least you're waiting to do so. Yeah, I feel like you know you need to heal. You're waiting on the right one. With the Ten of Wands, yeah, because this situation is too burdening for you. With the Page of Cups, this person gives you little to go off of anyway. And then their communication just sucks. Yeah, with the Hermit, this person talks to you a little bit and then they go ghost. Okay. Wow, uh, all of them. Okay. Outcome spirit? What's the outcome for my cappies? Outcome? my Capricorn temperance mm -hmm. could be dealing with a Sagittarius but there is a need for balance because it's too much for you to handle all of this by yourself maybe you need to speak to someone a friend a confidant a counselor somebody needs because this is too heavy for you yeah and you're still working on it you 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 or you might be trying to take your mind off of this by working hard yeah because there are deep there are very deep emotions here and I feel like you might be sexually deprived from this person, too. Yeah. You want to offer them love and sex. Heavy on the sex. A big emphasis on sex. Someone is horny as fuck. With the world card to the strength, but you know something needs to come to an ending. Yeah. And you feel like it'll be better once you do that. Again, working. So, advice, please, spirit. Advice. Advice, please. Too many advice please too many advice please okay so you're definitely gonna have to let this go and you're gonna have strength to stop communicating with them all right guys thank you